what's up y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Gilly M and here is where I give my unsolicited opinions on all things faith film and TV now before I continue please don't forget to like share and subscribe also hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video now let's get into this one now today I will be reviewing or reacting to a movie titled Whitney I want to dance with somebody now as you can guess this is an autobiography um, of Whitney Houston um, it came out in like sometime in December of last year I honestly just I didn't even know about this movie it popped up on this um, website that I watch movies on sometimes I stream movies on this website called soap today and it popped up i went on on online and it was there and so i decided to watch it initially i thought it was a documentary since a lot of a lot of whitney houston films are documentaries like it, it it's never been there's never been an actual movie but this was a movie like a feature film an actual film now since it is an autobiography it is based on the life of Whitney Houston um, I'm not entirely sure how much of it is accurate me personally whenever I see a film like a feature film um, depicting the life of someone who was alive like any of these celebrities I just think 10% of whatever I'm seeing is true and then the rest is just you know fabricated that's just how i watch these films so in terms of um depicting or showing an a celebrity story i prefer documentaries over films uh but like i said i stumbled on this one i did think it was a documentary so when i watched it i when i clicked on the on the icon i thought i was actually gonna watch because i didn't even read the description i thought i was gonna watch a documentary turns out it was a movie um so yeah it is based on the life and times of whitney houston up until i want to say the last day of her life um so yeah regarding the film because i have like watched a couple of whitney houston documentaries uh, not a couple I've only watched two Whitney Houston documentaries uh, but because I have seen some documentaries of Whitney Houston there were I did have some expectations of what I wanted to see um, I guess you could call them ex expectations um, and for the most part they were met my expectations but for the most part in terms of the storyline um so basically if you have seen this this documentary by whitney uh, i mean um yeah there's this whitney houston documentary called whitney just whitney it's basically that um in a movie version basically so the a lot of whatever was mentioned or whatever was said or whatever i had seen on the documentary whitney I saw on this film um, so basically what they did is they touched on Whitney Houston's relationship with her parents uh, Bobby Brown Robin Crawford and Clive Davis who is apparently one of the producers of this film do with that whatever you will <laughs> but yeah it turns out Clive Davis is a producer in terms of the relationships i'm okay i mean those I, I think are pretty significant relationships um that should be highlighted of course but i would have loved for them to also basically highlight or portray uh whitney houston's relationship with her brothers her two brothers uh so yeah like personally i think that that relationship like Whitney's relationship with her two brothers was also a pretty big one considering that she spent a lot of her time with them um they worked together they sang backup for her they worked for her 
and they basically lived that life with her and i feel like if if there's one underrated relationship that is never portrayed or never spoken about is Whitney Houston's relationship with her brothers and I feel like they should have done that they should have portrayed that in the movie they had a chance to do it but they didn't so yeah um the production itself it, it was okay I, w- I, I mean I can't fault it that much it didn't really look like a big budget movie but it also didn't really look like a low budget movie as well it was it just seemed like an okay you know they did an okay job is what i'm saying it was it was an okay job in terms of the film itself you know the cinematography everything it 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 seemed true to to the time so yeah it's it wasn't like lifetime horrible you know sometimes you get some of those lifetime movies um around celebrities they be bad they they are sometimes i'm sorry i i didn't mean to basically shade lifetime like that but some of these lifetime movies surrounding celebrities are horrible so it wasn't like a li- you could tell that it, it's not a lifetime movie you know they did something is what i'm saying they did something yeah so with regard let's just move on to casting okay (laughs) because casting is a very big deal in terms of films and movies um when it comes to casting for a movie like this a movie that is an autobiography you will be portraying someone who was alive or someone who's alive you're basically playing an actual person Right? you're not it's not a made-up character that you can do a lot with so when you're going for an audition and trying to play this person you need to basically play be the person and the girl who played Whitney Houston I don't know her I've never seen her before this was the first production that I had seen her on um, her name is Naomi Naomi Aki or Naomi Aki. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. I don't know what to say. I mean, to a certain extent, I want to say the big thing or we, the only thing that the critique that I can give is the fact that she was playing Whitney Houston which is this huge this big personality obviously she's not going to get everything right she wasn't horrible though she wasn't bad she did a pretty good job she had whitney's uh mannerisms down to the t you could tell that she studied that character it's just that if you're going to act out um an actual person it's pretty hard to obviously imitate someone who was as big as whitney i am a firm believer of Hollywood not actually making movies of these celebrities because it's very hard to portray and mimic someone I'm, I'm just okay with documentaries when it comes to these but they did this movie and this girl Naomi Aki she did a pretty good job um, it wasn't horrible she was it was a pretty good job now the other people that were cast in this movie was Nafisa Williams I love Nafisa she is the 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 girl on what's that black lightning she's on black lightning I like her um she did a pretty good job she played Robin Crawford um the only I want to say only other person whose character I felt like was who I personally think did a pretty good job is the lady who played Sissy Sissy Houston's character? Um, I think her name is Tam- Tamara Tuni or Tamara Tuni. She did a pretty good job. Everyone else, including Stanley Tucci, which honestly was, I was pretty disappointed. Everyone else, I feel like, did a not so good job. It was like a subpar, you know, like they people just i don't know they didn't really come to the party 
Um, Stanley Tucci played Clive Davis. Um, this a guy who played Bobby Brown was also not so good. I think she did. I mean, he did pretty bad job his name is ashton sanders i've never also seen him i've never seen some of these people i've never seen anywhere the only two people i definitely knew were stanley tucci and afisa williams everyone else i had never seen before ever 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 um like i said ashton sanders was not that great at his character he didn't do a big a good job but with that i'm just gonna say it's i i feel like it's because they were portraying actual people so they didn't really you don't really get a lot of creative um you don't really get to get you don't really get to be that like creative with a character especially when you're playing someone else someone who's actually alive so we'll just blame it on that we'll just blame it on the fact that he was playing this big personality and he just couldn't crack you know bobby brown oh my god no pun intended <laughs> uh bobby brown's um personality to the t i don't know if bobby felt like he did or i, I don't know i actually don't know any of these um people's reactions to the movie so yeah but other than that i personally i guys i'm like i said i'm not a big film person when it comes to autobiographies i prefer documentaries for that because i like i said i feel like documentaries are more accurate um to to the story compared to a film so maybe that might be the reason why i didn't really enjoy this movie but i didn't really enjoy the movie it was like i said it was okay um in terms of rating i would give it a two maybe if let's say four a four out of ten you know like like i said it wasn't horrible it's just it wasn't really my cup of tea so i guess yeah like a four but it but it all depends on your taste in movies i guess uh but if you really want my opinion i would say you don't waste your time you don't really have to watch this movie it, it's it's not worth it is what i'm saying it's not worth the i think it was two hours so it's not worth wasting your time do something else if you can um so yeah that's it anyway that's my two cents on this particular movie um if you guys like this video don't forget to like share, and subscribe i hope you guys like this video god bless you and i'll see you on the next one